There's a lot to talk about, as always. One of the things that I wanted to discuss was this just momentum that's that's happening behind SpaceX. Obviously, we, we talked about the HLS contract, the human landing system uh, drama that was before. And actually, we, we can jump to that because there's actually been some some progress with that. First, it was the Senate bill made an adjustment uh, with the U.S. Senate. They were trying to make it so that... Uh, it was a potential like could spacex actually lose the contract that they were already given and after a few weeks of not really knowing what was going what was going to happen uh the senate bill was updated to say that the con the the hls contract should be competitive right so there should be at least two not just one like they chose for spacex um and that they need to make that choice by uh, august so so there's going to be it, it still has to be finished because the protest filed by Blue Origin and Dynetics, the other two companies that were in this original HLS contract, um, are petitioning to still be uh, chosen, at least as this second choice, which now for this new setup bill is making it so there has to be at least two. So interesting there. It, it also kind of like, it, it, this is my opinion here, but it kind of called the Senate's bluff that, you know, there wasn't all this funding that was available, but yet now we're actually going to make it competitive. Uh, so, and the other good thing is that it actually secures SpaceX for, for, for as far as the SpaceX getting contract approval and getting funding for this, the, the bill itself actually protects SpaceX a little bit. And I'll, I'll read this section here. Uh, the administrator shall not, in order to comply with the obligations referred to in paragraph one, modify, terminate, or rescind any selection decisions or awards made under the human landing system program that were announced prior to the date of enactment of this division. And so in there, it's saying that whatever SpaceX was already awarded cannot be changed or rescinded uh, with this next thing to have at least two contractors. So in some sense, SpaceX is protected uh, by, by having their funding. So a Starship will still be in the running to go to the moon and to help the first woman land on the moon with the Artemis program, but it also opens up so one of those other two companies, whether it's Blue Origin and the the national team or Dynetics, have a chance of still being chosen. And I think that makes sense. For again, uh, we're we're of the opinion here at Today in Space that uh, it should be it should be an all in like let's let's invest in all of these like and as many as you can because as we've learned from the space shuttle program, once you lose it. It's very, very, very difficult to get it back up and running. And that's what NASA's been in for, for a decade now, is this kind of rolling momentum of, oh, well, we're going to go to, we're going to do the Constellation program. We're going to go to the moon to land ro robotically. And then we didn't do that. And then we were going to do the asteroid recovery mission, and we didn't do that. And now, with Artemis, we're, we're trying to set up we as, as a very general term, but the space industry, the U.S. space industry and, and international partners are trying to now set up a way to have a moon station uh, to then be able to land a little safer and a little more reliably and have continuous missions to the moon to then set up the stage to go to Mars. So have human spaceflight develop and, and test all the things we would do at Mars because going to Mars is basically a one-way trip and if you miss that window of coming back every two years when the planets are aligned just right to have the right amount of fuel to get back to earth if you miss that it's another two years so it it's not just politics it's not just uh we don't want to do mars mars is difficult and it, it, it's very very tough to to fund a government program on the basis that they there's a high likelihood that P, that is their one-way trip that's that's all they're going to be able to do they, they, they will die on that mission uh so yeah that's dark but the reality of the situation why why mars hasn't been happening uh why this hasn't really been taken seriously in a long time it's because we just haven't had the infrastructure 